guests, elders, honorable teachers, and my dear friends, please accept my greetings. I'm Antriksh. I'm an eighth grade student in Tara Devi School in Chara. A trailblazer. What do we all understand by this word? A winner, an achiever, a pioneer, or a leader. Maybe all of these. But the real question should be perhaps, can anyone be a trailblazer? Can anyone in this room be one? We'll be exploring these questions shortly. But first, let me f share a few facts with you. The world GDP is around $80 trillion, and India alone contributes to around 4% of that. These are huge numbers. And we can use this money to solve world problems, such as poverty, wars, diseases, and others. It's obvious that these problems can be solved by a single person in a single day by the single press of a button, right? No, that's not how it works. Let me explain. These problems are gargantuan, gigantic, and solving them will require a collaborative effort between people who can lead us, who can inspire us, and not just in science, in their own field, like medicine, like politics, in economy, and information technology. Okay, coming back to the first question I asked you. Can anyone be a trailblazer? To better understand this, let me share a story with you, an experience of mine that allowed me to shape my destiny. I come from a small town, and I'm very lucky and fortunate to be studying in such a beautiful school. The teachers are just fantastic, and the, te and the teaching is fabulous. This perfect learning environment allowed me to pursue my passion for science. But lately, I was very sad to see that children, some including my own friends, were lacking their interest in science. They were not as enthusiastic as I was, or at least as much as they should be. I wanted to do something. I knew the teachers were doing their best in teaching. They, their books were elaborative as well as informative. I wanted to help them. So one day, I decided to create a YouTube channel. The main purpose of this channel would be to popularize science in a fun and interesting way. And at first, I created a few episodes explaining popular science concepts and some science concepts from my textbook. And I shared it with my friends. And within no time, it was an instant success. Soon, my channel was very popular in my school and I began getting calls from people who did not like science to talk about science. So inspired by the success of my YouTube channel, I decided to take up some other challenges, challenges in life. Some of them are ISRO science competition. In this competition, I created a, a model of the rocket, GSLV Mark III by ISRO. And I got myself the national position. And another one, is the Swabhiman Act. In this challenge, I created a device that would help people write on paper, write on paper with a stable hand. People suffering from the ET disability cannot do that. And I made a device that could help them do that. And I got myself the first prize. But more than the first prize, I was even more satisfied to see that my project would help millions of people across the globe. And another important milestone in my life was when I was selected as a brand ambassador for the prestigious Terry Institution. This inspired me to take up um, making videos about um, environment conservation and protection in others. And I carried that message to my audience through the help of my YouTube channel. I was able to continue in this path because of my role models. Some of them are Carl Sagan, Carl Sagan was a very famous astronomer who authored two of the most amazing books that I've ever read, Cosmos and Contact. Another one is Elon Musk. Elon Musk is the CEO of SpaceX and Tesla. He's coming up with a grand plan of colonizing Mars and electrifying vehicles so Earth can have a greener future. And the third one is Neil deGrasse Tyson. He's the most interesting person I've ever seen. He's a prominent particle physicist, also 
the main inspiration of my YouTube channel. I was inspired mainly by him to create videos explaining science concepts, which I just mentioned earlier. Okay, let me tell you this. All three of these who I just mentioned now were kids like me, ordinary kids. And who knows, maybe I can be like them. Maybe you can. Anyone can become like them, an icon. Okay, let me share a secret with you. The path of being a leader will not always be easy. It will be filled with bumps and valleys and mountains. The journey is tough, long and arduous, but not impossible. Anyone can do anything if he has the right willpower. So being a leader, having all the fame, all the glory, it's great and all, but to be able to inspire people, to be able to influence them, motivate them, to be able to change the world, to be able to change lives. That is what I think takes to be a trailblazer. Thank you for listening.